Hello, everyone. Today, along with me, Shwetang is there. Uh, he has been selected as a Oracle TPA. And the biggest achievement that I want to tell you here that he got 300% hike. So you can assume like if someone is getting 10,000 per month in hand, now he'll get 30,000. So obviously it's not 10,000. It may be a more than that. So you can assume like 300% hike. And again, like we have a notice period and other things. So a lot of other things are going to be happen. So we'll try to understand about his experience as a, like how he went to the Oracle DBA, how about the training and everything. Okay. So Shweta, can you please uh, introduce yourself a little bit for our subscribers so that they will know more about you? Sure, sir. Thank you so much uh, for letting me to say like, uh, and I'll tell about my career. It's about, uh, uh, like it started my career, I could, my, I started my career with HCL in 2016 as an Oracle DBA. So my position was a graduate training at that time. And I was in the process of learning the Oracle engine, but uh, I was not able to grasp the practical knowledge about it, which actually I got it from you and your uh, sessions. And uh, while coming across uh, and learning with your platform and uh, especially with your interview course, I was able to grab two offers. One uh, is with TCS and another one is for instance assistance. Okay. So I choose product based. It's because they were providing me the great career growth because not only I'll be working with Oracle, I'll be working with the NoSQL databases as well. Okay. And uh, my position would be a senior or a senior database administrator. Okay. So, which involves the activities with automation and Python, Unix, testing, backup recovery, and more, all the DD activities. So, it's been it's been a great uh, uh, like uh, it's been a great drive uh, towards this career. And uh, like uh, I think uh, uh, while learning any engine of the database, we need a kind of a patience for at least like I would say six months. Okay. You need six months to understand each and every topic, like how it flows, how what kind of issues you can get, and how the learning you can grasp from different blogs by reading Oracle documentation, right. learning right. from your notes, creating your labs. So this is how it flows, and after that you are able to grasp. It's just like it's for me. Oracle is just like a game. It's it's a game, like yeah. a computer game which we play. Right. So it's just like that. You need to upgrade the game and you need to patch the game and you need to learn about the game, like how it works and how do you need to maintain the data and make it flow to the user community and to your clients. Okay. So this is all I can say about it. Yeah, sure. Time. So the best part which I like over here, like you said that you should have a patient. See, many times what happened, the people are coming back to me and they're saying that, okay, so if I just join your training, uh, will I uh, will I become a Oracle DBA immediately? Will I get a job? So that's not something you know. Uh, we can't predict anything. Okay, it's all about the efforts that you are putting from your side. Uh, it's all about the obviously the my training is always important. Okay, so it's a mutual efforts. Okay, it's not like a efforts from my side only. It's a mutual efforts from my side as well as from your side. Uh, again, luck factor is also important. Like you should get the opportunity. You should remember the the concept and everything that's also important so finally i can see that you have you are you're working as a senior oracle dba so that's a really fantastic news and that too you know you're working you'll be working with a product based company so the good part about the product based company is like you'll be working with the multiple databases multiple scenarios will be there so that's a really great news so uh, one more thing, like how you prepared yourself uh, for the Oracle DBA, uh, just wanted to understand for the other people also. So uh, my journey began from your sessions first because uh, the one every day you taught me a session. So I have reviewed it, the session again on the same right. day and I started creating my lab on weekends. So once I started creating lab, I used to cover each and everything which you have taught me over the week. And I proceed with the Oracle certain blogs, like there is one DBA class, then there is DBWR, Oracle Genesis. These are the documents right, right, and right. blogs which I have proceeded through. I checked each and uh, I checked with each Oracle flavors. Okay, this is how you need to install. This is how you need to get the answers. 
So for every topic, like if I talk about Oracle installation and configuration, there are interview questions for that also over the blog. Right. And as well as you will get the topic, like how you need to process with installation. So right. there was this question came across to me in the in this company with the interviewer. He's from USA. So he told me like, you need to create a cluster two node database. So what would be your approach for the entry requests? I told him that uh, on which servers you need to install. So which right. is specifically written in the Oracle docs. So they told, uh, they, they have told us that on which servers you need to install, which kind of database you need to install, like right. whether it's OLTP or OLAP. Right. So this is how you need to proceed. See, it's all about like, I would say patience and all about knowledge. Once, if you can go through day by day, you can cover and in a day you need to study for like two to three hours. Only that it is required. <laughs> that it is only required. In two to three hours, you can cover each and everything. Right, in, right, in right. the span of like three to, three to four months. Absolutely. And you can start working on giving interviews after that and you, easily it's like five to six uh, interviews in the company. Like uh, past four months back, I've given an interview in the, there is one organization, TELUS uh, Corporation, which is a Canadian based company. So I've talked to them that how was my first interview past four months back. So although I was uh, like, I have this, so it's not like you're not perfect or you're not nothing like, okay, I'm not able to clear my first company. What should I do? You just need to build your strength and cover up your weaknesses. What, right. what are your weaknesses? And from the interview itself, you can learn about the DBH. Right, right, right. See, so there are two things which I like from your conversation here that you should not rely on only one sources. Like, if you like, I'm a trainer, I'm giving my training. It doesn't mean that you should only rely on my training. There are many other YouTubers are there. There are many other good technical people are there. Okay. You should also check their blogs, YouTube channel or whatever way of gaining a knowledge. That's really important. And the good part, which I have observed Shwetan, about you is that you are always going all over the world, like wherever you are getting the knowledge. Now you are going there, learning the things, whenever you are doubts, calling me, asking the doubts and clearing the things. And now see here, 300% hype. <laughs> That's really, really amazing. So this is not something, you know, coming within a single day. There is a lot of efforts you have put. Uh, and finally, the achievement you can see over the dashboard here now. And again, uh, I am like, how many interests you have given before selecting to the first company? Uh, uh, like uh, I first was the TCS, the one I have told you. Right. right. And this was, th this was uh, three rounds in just one day itself. Okay. They were okay. looking for, they were looking for a DBS. So, I on that on the very same day I had three interviews one with okay. DCS okay. and one with Tech Mahindra and one with this instance system. Right, right, okay. So, okay. so I there there are they it's kind of a fight with TCS right now and instance systems going on. So they are telling <laughs> me like we, we can give you, but I I said no to them because I wanted to go in product base. Okay, so I closed okay. my call to to the product base like I'll come over there. Okay, okay. Uh, that's 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 a you know uh, mutual decision that we need to take, uh, like where we need to go. Uh, that's that's uh, see, yeah. So it's not like you have been selected within the first attempt itself, right? Sometimes we need to give a multiple attempts, and after that, the number of questions will get repeated to you, and then you realize like every interview is a learning, right? Every interview is a learning. Some something we will learn from the interview, and that conversation exactly. always matters. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sir, actually there was a question related to performance tuning. So okay. one of the, uh, the one which we were discussing I right. uh, on my first round. So right. it was like, the, uh, he told me like uh, he, a client needs refresh data every day. Okay. So from the production server, so what would be, what will you do? And if okay. it's a day and the database size is of 15 TV. Okay. So, 
it was a it was a really tricky question related to DC mode. So I told him that I'll create one logical standby database uh -huh. and which will provide anti defrost data on daily basis. <laughs> so I'll, I'll also I'll tell, I'll tell him that uh, the CPU usage over the production database would be low and you will get the great CPU utilization resources over the logical standby database. So the client can do whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, sometimes our answer is not perfect, you know, but the way you are giving the reply or the confidence level, that's also really matters. At least you are trying something. Okay. See, no one knows the perfect answer. Even I don't know. No one knows it, but we are giving a try. Okay. This can be a possibility. We can try this. If it is not happening, then we'll try with another way. So this kind of approach always helps uh, to the interviewer also. And that's what he has seen in you. The, the, the thing was like, I played this answer with him. It's just because uh, I told him like, what, what exactly, what kind of query you are trying to fetch and uh, what kind of refresh data you are looking for. So, uh, so he told me, don't you go with the indexes. Uh, I told him I can go with the indexes option, but you are saying that uh, the database is still slow. So if you need to get the input and query fast, uh, and you need to get the optimal uh, performance of your uh, reports on daily basis. So this is the counter solution you can get uh, through the data card <laughs> board. And there was nothing like uh, he said any word. He said, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. That's for, that's that is another case. But he told me like in depth something you can go. So I told him like uh, never be uh, never. I have not came across any such kind of issues. But it was just a quick analysis which I did. Right. And, uh, right. Right. That's uh, but but even though like uh, my first round was telephonic, another was video call, and then there was a director level round, and uh, uh, and then there was a client. Uh, uh, president, uh, who is the president of the company, then okay. he, he was welcoming me over the board. So the, I had only four rounds. Okay, okay. That's great. Uh, you know, due to this COVID now, most of the interviews are happening from home and it's not a waste of time. So if someone is giving you time, like we need to connect by 11 o'clock, they everyone will join from the home. And I think that's a good practice. I, I, even my suggestion will be to the IT industry, like they should follow this kind of cultures because my personal experience was like, we are traveling for two, two hours. Then we are waiting there for many, like it's a queue will be there. Then we'll be tired. And within a single day, we will give only one interview. At the end, they want resources and we want good package. So if things are happening in a right way, why don't we take it online and uh, you know covid at least we should learn from the covid <laughs> that's a positive approach we should take it yes. okay so shwetang the final words that you want to give it to our subscriber to the people those who want to start their career in the dba field anything you want to suggest to the people well uh, my first suggestion would be uh, try to love uh, the technology first whether it's a dba or whether it's anything Try to love something first, what you want to do. Once you will create and love it and will uh, treat it as your passion, you could easily achieve each and everything. So it's just like you need to run behind the excellence, not towards the success. Success will come at your own way. So <laughs> it's, it's uh, I guess it's a dialogue search. I kept uh, like, okay, I studied for land. Okay, I, get, I will get the chance. I'll get the call. But now, once I first got an offer from TCS, <coughs> sorry, my calls became double or uh, interview calls. After that, because I put uh, my, for, in Nokri portal, I put that I'm serving my notice period over the LinkedIn as well. So I got like double uh, interview calls and even though today also i got like two to three calls okay but i said okay now it is closed now i'm fine with the firm because i read about the firm and it's it is an actually great firm to work with right 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 so once we are satisfied with the package so, the company culture and everything i i think we should we should be okay with that <laughs> So uh, you posted yes, your resume on link uh, on your like how you tried it like uh, by getting a jobs on uh, whether you tried on nokri.com 
Yes, Nokri and LinkedIn. These are the Nokri two platforms LinkedIn. I use. Okay. So guys, you know, this is one golden words provided by the Shweta that if you are looking for the job, you should create your resume on Nokri.com and LinkedIn, which is again a famous uh, for the professional uh, kind of social platform. So you should try for that also. I think uh, we have spent enough time, Shwetang. Uh, thank you so much yes, for sir. giving this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Because there are many people out there. Uh, this video will definitely reach to the many corners of the world. And uh, this your suggestions will definitely help to the people to kickstart their career in the IT industry as well as as a worker DBA. Thank you so much for joining, Shwetang. And you, definitely sir. I'll meet you one more time. I'll try to catch you after six months once you start your journey as a worker DBA. Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.